Oh, this is... Ah. <laughs> uh, ah. Uh, um. Ah. Uh, uh, well. <laughs> Elden Ring is a game praised for many things, like its exploration, gameplay, enemy variety. However, today, we'll be seeing what Elden Ring would have looked like if Hidetaki Miyazaki went in a very different direction with things, and decided to just fill the world with giant balls. Are your enemies? Balls. Bosses? Balls. Random passive wildlife? Balls. We also randomize all of the item pickups in the game, which I'll put the settings up on screen now. Feel free to pause to read through those. I'll also add in real quick here that this was all recorded before Shadow of the Erd Tree came out, so don't worry about any DLC spoilers or anything. And, speaking of recording, if you want to watch these kinds of things and other Souls Challenge runs live, I stream right here on YouTube every Sunday, so feel free to stop by. And finally, if you happen to enjoy the video, consider leaving a like or a comment, or maybe even smacking the subscribe button. Now, with the shameless plug out of the way, here's the run. So I, I do have it set so that I could potentially just end up with unwieldable weapons. <laughs> we might have something here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. I don't, I don't know why that did. That's <laughs> working for me. <laughs> really, really define those cheekbones. Really define those cheekbones. Okay. Boom. Ball crusher. Let's do it. Oh boy, Hoslo's Oath. I am completely over encumbered. Hell yeah. Okay, these these clubs weigh 17 each. That's probably part of what's happening. I don't even have enough strength to two-hand this shield. Okay, we're we're starting off in uh, it, at a bit of a disadvantage here. Well, I mean, if that's the case, then I probably can do something with the big club at least. Oh, that. Huh? Okay. There we go. I just, except I just completely bounced off of it, so that, that's not ideal. Ow. And it just one-shot me. Cool! Off to a good start. We got some purple balls, some green balls, some generic silver balls. Oh, we, got, we even have, like, a pink ball over there. Oh, man. That, that is a very, very blue ball. Some armor, but that'll make me fat. Okay, I'm gonna take the club off since it doesn't matter and I, since I can't wield it. I think the armor will be a bit more helpful at the moment. <laughs> well, I sneak my way past these balls. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. Made it safely to the first grace. I wonder what uh, Melina's drip is going to look like, because that gets randomized, too. <laughs> ah! She got her hands on some uh, s some nice pink dye. What is... Okay, her... Okay, she really did get her hands on some pink dye, if you look at her hands. I think she accidentally stained her hands while she was dyeing her cloak. <laughs> okay, can I grab this stuff from this chest without... Uh, kind of. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh. Oh, man, I just realized... <laughs> okay, oh, shit. Uh, apparently, Melina did not stop at dyeing her cloak pink. She... <laughs> she also did some work on, uh, on our boy Torrent here. <laughs> We're riding around on our, our lovely pink steed. Hell yeah. Oh, nice octopus helmet. It's like the constant smacking sound in the background. You'll, you'll want to get used to that, because you're going to be hearing it a lot. It's the constant sound of balls smacking off of each other. <laughs> Maybe there's going to be a weapon in this graveyard here. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to wield that, though. It's number five. Nice. What? You're not a... I mean... Hmm. You're not a giant ball, but I guess it's all right, because you're made up of a bunch of smaller balls. I don't have the strength or dex to wield this weapon either. Okay, cool. 
Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. All right, first death. There we go. Very reminiscent of the uh, Oops All Bone Wheels run. <laughs> Fuck! Fuck! Okay, this time let's kind of circle around and now we can... Uh, oh! Okay, the, the jellyfish moved over here. Uh, I think she dropped it on her way to the hut. <laughs> oh god, I'm pinned! Fuck! No, I'm pinned again! I, I think I'm dead. Wait, 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 nope, nope. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on! We're good. Probably. What's up, Alexander? Do, do, do you think I can save him without him getting run out? <laughs> nope. <laughs> you know what? Uh, sorry, Alexander. I think <laughs> I think you're gonna have to stay stuck in your hole. <laughs> no, don't don't kill the merchant. What the fuck? What did that? Do? What did he ever do to you, Pink Ball? Okay, I, th I I I'm gonna have to come back for that guy. <laughs> One of the nice quality of life features actually with the randomizer is if you just chat with a merchant, you can just get their bell bearing. In fact, I might just do that real quick, hopefully before... Nope! Not enough time. Okay. This time, let's just aim for here. Okay, good, that's not that. That wasn't a deadly fall. Dexterity not crystals here. Could be, could come in handy if we're still missing some stats. Troll Knight's Golden Sword. Bloodhound Claw, uh, oh shit! Hello! <laughs> All right, you know, I think what was, what's gonna have to happen is we're gonna, to really take stock of what we have available, I, I think we're just gonna have to wait till we get to round table. Excuse me. Oh. Excuse me! Excuse me! Ah! Uh, I think I'm dead. Um... Hello? Oh! Yes! It would, it would be really fantastic if, um... I could find a weapon that's actually wieldable. Talisman pouch? Alright. Oh, I see, uh, Get Good has entered the chat. Maybe I should take... <laughs> the viewers' names' advice and just do this bare fist. I'll take that as a suggestion. Oh, that's a decent find. Reduced fizz damage. Oh boy, some soft cotton. Okay, yeah, we're not looking out very good on the uh, item pickups, at least as far as like finding a weapon goes. Oh my god, that's a lot of balls. <laughs> <laughs> Short spear. Oh, that might actually finally be a wieldable weapon. The fuck is going on over here? <laughs> oh, shit. Nope. Really? What, I, I feel like these nope. things must... Really? Just fuck off! Maybe if I make it across the bridge here and take a rest, maybe I'll be in their blind spot. Okay. Uh, okay. Take a quick, quick rest here. That should de-aggro them. Long enough for me to uh, actually warp out. No, don't put down a marker. What are you doing? There we go. Okay, let's uh, travel over here. I've been testing you. Oh, really? Are you the one who sent all the balls after me? I will become Elden Lord. The Lord of Balls. For but a moment. Ball Crusher. All right, let's see what we've got. Oh, okay. Green Turtle Talisman. Talisman Pouch. Bloodhound Claws. Oh. These are wieldable. Except you miss out on some of the benefit of these because the balls won't bleed. Pearl's Golden Sword. That, that could be decent. Uh, I need 20 strength to be able to actually use it, though. I don't think I'll be able to get to that, actually. 
Mm, yeah. Just so we have something that does a little bit of damage, I think we're gonna have to go with the short spear for a little while here. Uh huh. Sure. It, like I, I get that she's blind, so she doesn't. So maybe she could make a mistake, you know, handing something. Over, but even if you're blind, I think it would be very easy to tell just by like the feel of something that you're not handing somebody a letter and you're handing them a large bone. Ah, hey! What the fuck? Okay, well that's something. <laughs> I wasn't anticipating that being a problem in this run. Just having balls disappear and reappear and block me so that other balls could kill me. <laughs> They're worth They've learned to work as a team. What is this my damage like? Not fantastic. But that one's a crystal scarab normally so it'll drop something if i kill it if i can kill it oh my god i think i should stick to the plan of gathering items and just kind of ignoring the balls the best i can holy shit this dude's stacked he's got two great runes a sacred tear a golden seed margaret's shackle not that that's going to be of any use at all in this run. Uh, but what has this dude been doing? But yeah, th this merchant just straight up gives us access to Dell. I guess for now, I'll just buy the sacred tier. Oh, it's wieldable. It's uh, Ball Crusher's first club. But we can see what's in Castle Morn. Can I sneak in here and grab this item? Where is the? Where did the item go? Where, where is it? There, okay, it was being completely blocked by the ball. Oh, great, it's a Grave Glove War 1. Hmm. Oh god, frame rate is unhappy there. Um. Am I gonna be able to get up this lat ladder? Excuse me. Oh, God. Oh, there's a, a, a pair of large blue balls that are just trapping me right now. T take that comment with as as much or as little context as you prefer. But hey, I'm actually kind of dealing some damage. Hey, I actually kill- ah! I actually killed one! Ah, fuck! Um, well, this is inconvenient. Alright, well, we're, we've at least hit the point where we can actually, like, kind of defend ourselves. Why, every time I need to get through an arrow spot, there's they're perfectly placed to just completely block me. Ah! Retreat! Um... Hmm. Seem to be in a bit of a bind here. Okay. Next. Next. Okay. Are, are you afraid of me now? Oh, the club is actually has, has just enough. Ha ha like actually has enough stagger to stop them from rolling. I, I think every time I'm hitting like a bit of a load gate, it just... Or actually, no, it seems to be when I look in the direction of whatever the hell is going on down there, the <laughs> ray rate is like, uh, you know what? I, I, I need a little bit of a break. Nice. Sanctified wet blade, okay. But I think we might have attained enough power that we might be able to like, rescue this merchant here. Ow. 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 Oh, I didn't realize you came back. Really, he didn't, how did you not notice? Ooh, this is the healing upgrade guy, apparently. 
Ooh. And now we have his bell bearing, so we don't ever have to come back here. Okay, I think I'm going to head towards market. Giant ball, the fell omen. <laughs> it talks. This, bo this, this ball has a lot of HP. I only got 200 runes for that. You there. Come what? Come over here, would you? Uh, Gostok? It appears you have some sort of, like, skin condition or something. You, you might want to get that looked at. Ooh, there's three purple items here. How many of these are going to be arterial leaves or the gravel stones? And how many of them will actually be something useful? Okay. Or the fucking butterfly. Oh! What I am going to do is go around this way because there's a key item check. Oh, some cash. Nice. Kind of makes up for only getting 200 maroons off of market. Sorry, not market. Giant ball, the fell omen. You're blocking the staircase. Ah, fuck! Excuse me. Please let me through. Ah, there we go. Oh, no, that's the that's also blocked by a different ball. Oh, there we go. Now there's my opening. Uh, come on. These balls are. I was about to say. This. Okay, I'll just say. It. Was, these balls are kind of dicks. Oh boy, some flowers. Uh, excuse me, sir, you are in the way. Haha. -ha. Oh shit, we got some... Bastion. Oh, wait. Oh, technically it's not accurate to me, so I can just warp out. Wait, no, I didn't grab the key item. We've got to go back. Ah! Oh my god, it's just following me. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Memory stone. Oh boy, a land octopus ovary. Excuse me? Oh god, oh, oh my god, this is a lot. <laughs> ah! Excuse me? I just want to get this graze. Wow, they're, they're just, they have, like, an actual, like, defensive formation. Ah! Like, a full-on, like, wedge formation going there. I think the balls are starting to learn, like, battle strategy. <laughs> oh my god. They're just lying in wait. Ready to pounce. But, but luckily, they don't have the ability to shoot ballistas. Ow! Oh, I'm trapped. Okay. Ah! Oh boy, another human bone shard. Ah! Well, that's not. Th th this is an item. <laughs> oh, that's a fat stack of cash right there. I am out of healing. I need to run. I might come back in through here to collect some items, though. Ow. I should maybe start- Ow. I should maybe start investing in some- Some HP. Once I'm able to- Once I meet the stat requirements for the weapon I want to use- Ah! Fuck. Oh, this is- Ah. <laughs> uh, um. <laughs> um. Uh, uh, well, ah, uh, well, uh, as soon as one dies, another just rolls in to take its place. Okay, we're out somehow. Ow. Yeah, I think that was pretty much the only way that that situation was gonna and can pop this
Okay. That gives us enough strength to be able to actually wield the sword. But now I might actually stick some into HP and a little bit into endurance. Just because I'm using a heavy weapon. Okay, got me a plus three. I can work with that for now. Alright, but now we're kind of getting somewhere. A few moments later. Wasn't expecting to uh, actually die to a boss. Oh, even the R1s stagger it, actually. Well, we found out how to beat the boss. <laughs> okay. Tough boss. Wait, wasn't he red before? Your shop sucks, Gostock. You should feel ashamed of yourself. I guess you can kind of see like when an area loads in or like when the enemies load in because you start that's when all of the like the health bars start popping up from all the balls bonking into each other oh nice more cash if i aggroed any of the balls maybe not okay he just has the academy key all right well i guess we can just kind of progress through the area like normal Ooh, what's this Excuse me. Although this might be a sketchy merchant to check because there's going to be a whole shitload of balls on the way. Coming through. Excuse me. Oh, God. Sorry, Torrent. Um. Well, that was quick. All right, this time don't get trapped by an entire encirclement of balls. To be fair... I did do what I said, and I didn't get trapped in an encirclement of big balls. Pardon me. There we go. Look, going on the left side. Holy fuck. No, this is where I got... I should have stuck to the left side strats. Okay, yeah, left side strats seem to be the play here. Now I just need to like quickly talk to this merchant before he, he gets run over. One seed. Some wet blades. Okay, I think the golden seed is it. Uh, uh, oh, okay. I don't know why it was invisible. No, the donkey. Sorry, donkey. It's not my fault. Uh, okay, they, I mean, they were following me. Ah! I guess they were following me, so it's uh, maybe kind of my fault. Okay, we have avenged the donkey. Yeah, we just need one more three. That sucks. Somebody needs to wash these things. I, I think they're harboring some mold or something. All right, well, I got that to plus eight. That's something at least. You know what? Area might kind of suck. The graveyard bit. In fact, I have a feeling that they're what is currently making the frame rate unhappy. Because so specifically when I look in that direction there, that things go bad. Okay, look in that direction. And then we have a good frame rate. Okay, never mind. I think we've gotten too close to the graveyard, and now there's just a bad frame rate no matter where we look. Oh my god. God, it, it really is chugging right now. I, I think I have angered Miyazaki himself or something. Oh God, that was a poor decision. Yeah. He has a little switch in his home office or if he catches wind of somebody doing su something stupid to his game, he has a frame rate switch that he just flips. How dare you take all the feet out of the game? Um... How... How do I get through here? There, there, it is actually just straight up a complete wall. And now I'm trapped. Well, nice knowing you. <laughs> Perhaps I do need to just kind of stand here and wait for them to all take each other out down there. See, not enough of them are actually rolling around to really do the job. Although, there might be a path. Hang on. I might see a path here. Ah, oh, yes! 
Uh, okay, there might be a... Here! Oh, fuck. Um, I kind of the... Ah, fuck. Kind of stuck between a uh, ball and a hard place right now. Ah! Oh, now, now they move out of the doorway, as soon as I'm dead. I think I need to take the patient route here. Okay. Oh god, there's another one inbound. No, oh, there's a third one inbound. Okay, as long as you guys just kind of take some- take turns, it might not be completely screwed. Okay. I almost have made it to the elevator. Hell yeah. Man, something terrible must have happened in this place. Look at what happened to all the sorcerers. What kind of school are they running here? Oh man, that's the... It's the blue ball squadron in here. Holy shit, there's a lot of blue ones. Giant ball of red. <laughs> Ow. Okay, if we've learned anything from the boss fights, it's that you don't stop the heal. You just keep hitting R1. <laughs> the, the epic music kicking in. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know what? Big Chungus, you might have been onto something. I, I forgot just how many enemies are in this area. Uh... Holy shit! There's a key item if I... over this way. Uh... Might need to skip it for now. I was just gonna sit here and take a few bites of my sandwich while they, they, they do their thing. But also, it didn't really do a whole lot as far as, like, clearing the path up there to get to the key item. Um... Hello? Am I letting me through? Oh shit, there's a ball in this room, too. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Okay. What the hell is that? Oh, so this one is just very stuck and getting very angry about it, apparently. Oh, okay, I found Melania's prosthetic legs. Oh god. Ah, fuck. Um, luckily they're like kind of just as stuck as I am. Also, luckily, apparently this bird cage here is like indestructible. Whoever crafted that bird cage should be proud of themselves. So, ain't no way your pet chickadee or whatever is gonna break out of that. Your parakeet, whatever. Do people keep pet chickadees? I don't, I don't think so. Oh, nice find. Okay, apparently Melania was, was just hanging out and in the, the magic school. I did not know that there was much of a connection between her and uh, Rayo Lacaria. All right. Well, this, this should be a, a fun boss fight since it's probably just going to be two balls. <laughs> fucking face. Oh, a red ball? I don't think we've seen a red ball. No, uh, maybe we have. Okay. And then, okay, the cutscene is taking its time, but, uh... You know, now Ronnie's pissed at us and sent the silver ball after us. Giant ball! Queen of the full moon! 
And R1. And R1. And R1. And R1. Okay. Hmm, the pest threads. But since we've already found three great runes, we only need to find two more. Although that said, we do also need to find the rolled medallion. But it might be worthwhile to just kind of follow the critical path for now. Because there's a pretty good chance that if we just follow the pr critical path, we'll just find the other two great runes just along the way. Oh, there's also a graveyard here. I might, I might just check that before heading over to EG. Huh? I'm sorry? What? Okay. Okay. Have we been still long enough? There we go. Okay, e EG also seems to have taken a, a bit of a bath and some purple dye. Even, even his book. There's supposed to be a crystal scarab here. But it's also an invisible crystal scarab, so I don't... Uh, yeah, that is right. I was just about to say, does that mean that the ball is invisible? And, uh, y yes, in fact, that it... <laughs> it did turn into an invisible ball. I guess I could just go through the precipice and go to Altus that way. Oh, fuck! What? What's going on here? No, oh, there's one in that wall, too. <laughs> More epic music. <laughs> Magma giant ball. Oh, hey! Here, I can kill this one. This is the boss. Oh, fuck. It's got help now. Ow. Nope. Okay. It it just decided that, no, I am soloing this motherfucker with the giant sword. Get out of my way, pink ball. I am- Oh! Where the fuck did you come from? I think that was the, the original pink ball's, like, cousin or something. It said there was time to get some revenge, except... It went after me, and not the ball that killed its homie. I see the Small oh, you turn into a blue ball. How unexpected. Ooh. Draconic Giant Ball. Green Edition. Uh, excuse me. I might regret this. Oh, what's that? Um, well, I might regret going for this item. Lord of Blood's robe. You know, I'm, I'm gonna rearrange my armor a bit. So I don't have to look at the ugly ass godskin robe anymore. And now we have a nice, fashionable mushroom helmet. Excuse me. Oh, thank you. What a polite bowl. As far as I'm aware, I, I am not a furry. Oh, fuck me. They're just pouring a perfect wall. Oh, God. Retreat, retreat, retreat. Oh, God. Ah. <laughs> huh? Okay. We're somehow making our way through. Ah, fuck. Just had to say something. Um, how do I... Oh, shit. How do I get out of here? Can I... Oh, okay, maybe I can just go around here. Oh, fuck! All of that work to get around there and, like, juggle them and stuff, and that's what I uh, just get lightly shoved off the branch. All right, how, how am I going to do this? I might need a bit more strategy. This isn't going to... Yeah. Uh, let's jump over here. 
Okay, they might just take care of themselves, honestly. I think I'm cool to just hang out here. Unless that pink... Okay, it is kind of working its way over. Good. Yeah, roll pass. Alright. <laughs> well, we, we're... We're having a bit of a traffic situation here. Oh, they seem to have kind of sorted it out. Oh, shit. They discovered how to get out of this branch. God damn it. Okay. Giant ball! First Elden Lord! Wow, oh, look at that. Boss is dead. <laughs> Giant ball! The Omen King! You okay there, buddy? Oh, discarded palace key for the for Nala's library. He's purple. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, it's good. I came over and checked that. Uh, there we go. We got great rune number. I'm in the wrong tab. Great rune number four. We only need one more. Yeah, I think this further kind of further solidifies the play of just continuing along the critical path. Hmm. Actually, now that I think of it. We did get Morgoth's rune. I could just come over here and activate it and get a bunch more health. Oh, yo, hey, there's the Smithing Stone 3s that I've been looking for. This was a good call. Fell Giant Ball. Oh, this one also has Radon's music. I feel like the music should be changing soon. Phase 2 music? Oh, shit. <laughs> I was trying to make a play for time to uh, let the music switch over to Phase 2, but it just occurred to me that uh, that boss doesn't have a Phase 2, so it probably just isn't triggering the phase change flag uh and then i got just straight 100 percent to zero percent one shot by the ball and i didn't get the bond the uh, sight of grace down the down the elevator so i have to run the entire way back i always love wasting time in runs and it always has to happen at some point during a run ball crusher and her pink steed are Coming through. All right, this time, just to be safe, I'm going to grab the side of Grace down here. And then maybe I'll jump back to Brown Table real quick and upgrade. Then again, it isn't even all that important to activate Morgoth's rune. Maybe I will just skip it. Shut up and upgrade my weapon. Okay, now we're on the lookout for a regular five. It does seem like th th that I've gotten good enough RNG that I probably won't have to, like, really go out of my way. Some, some tree blood. Oh, yeah, so it's always customary for me, uh, you know, whenever you get to the mountaintops. You gotta kill this asshole. Huh? How did that... How did my attack miss? That's what I'm wondering. I can't remember the last time he killed me. Uh, that's not gonna work two times. Yeah, you said it. It is very unfortunate. Ah! I love the fact that this spectral wildlife also got turned into balls. Fire giant ball! <laughs> uh, got a stamina. Okay. But wait! There's more! There's a second fire giant ball! Oh shit. This thing might actually be able to just like straight one shot me if I'm not careful. Oh, and it's also the sewer mode music, so uh, it, it's just gonna loop back right to the beginning.
tough boss. You know, once they throw two balls at you, that, that's where things get complicated. Time to uh, say goodbye to Pink Milena. Oh. Ball Crusher has gotten... has tuckered herself out from crushing so many balls. Hmm. I might want to kill this ball, because it should have a guaranteed drop. Fuck! I missed. Yeah, you know, I was thinking about upping my HP, but maybe I shouldn't add more HP. So maybe that's actually making this more interesting, the fact that at this point I'm just... Fuck! I did it again! The sword is like three miles long, how am I missing? Well, wow, this is like the end boss of the entire run right here is just this specific ball in Furumazola. I don't even care about the loot anymore. I, I just want to actually defeat this ball. Okay, cool. The golden chicken foot. Uh, excuse me? Oh, you're just gonna roll straight over top of that. I interesting. Excuse me? Uh, duh, okay, uh, they do not care about any obstacles in their way here, apparently. They're, they're just rolling over anything that might get in their way. Physics be damned. Yeah. I don't know if that was a good idea, though, because I just- I, I have now angered that ball. Are you going to be able to actually get onto this platform? Oh, fuck, you can't! That's what I get for taunting the balls. Yeah, unfortunately, it will not be the godskin balls. It'll just be the godskin ball singular. Because the way that this randomizer does things is duo bosses are randomized, like, as a unit. So yeah, godskin giant ball. Peak gameplay. 100% peak. What is going on with this thing right now? It, it cannot decide. It, it's like trying to learn some levitation magic or something. Holy fuck. Sorry, I'm getting, getting distracted by uh, watching the score for my, my, my favorite baseball team. I'll, I'll pay more attention. Not that I really need to, because once you kind of get into the rhythm, the ball can't really do a whole lot of anything. Oh, look at that. The boss is dead. Uh... Let me try something. Never really tried this before. Huh. About that. Oh, shit. I need to... Okay. Ho-ho! I've never attempted that before, and I'm surprised that I got it first try like that, and didn't just slip off that ledge and die. I could try a bird skip. I, I've never successfully done it. I've attempted it a few times, casually. Please get off. Get off. Just get. Just roll back. Go back some more. Thank you. So I think I need to land there. And then you kind of like jump across like that. This will probably result in me slipping off of the narrow ass ledge and just falling to my death, but. Uh, I'm gonna give it a go. Called it! Probably more efficient to just try to run through here. Instead of spending the next, like, hour trying to learn how to do this, that skip. Oh my god! Ah! Uh. <laughs> ah! Uh. Yeah, the only... The skip that I've really learned is the sewer skip. Huh? Okay, we're... Over four hours into this. That was the first time one of them has just immediately... Ha has skipped the charge up and has gone immediately into... Full speed... Ramming mode. What the fuck was that? Oh boy, the unalloyed gold needle. <laughs> I don't know what how it got inside that ball. 
<laughs> Beast giant ball. Huh. Who the hell is that? That's not a giant ball. Ah, that's more like it. I hesitated. As the saying goes, hesitation is defeat. Alright, take two. Okay. R1. 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 And another R1. Oh man, it started to do its random, like, really fast acceleration. Somber 4 and 5. Okay, I I'm thinking that I'm not going to get these upgrade mats that I would like to get. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, it turns out as a final act of revenge, uh, Giant Ball the Black Blade killed the frame rate. Time for the giant ball to just stand there chatting for the next five minutes. Giant ball. They all know him. Oh my god. It, it also did the random, like, I'm gonna skip the charge up. Giant ball. Warrior. No getting launched into the air in this fight, though. No angry stomping. Just some menacing rolling. And a lady with a very large sword. Alright. Goodbye, giant ball warrior. Okay, it looks like we do actually have to go on a little bit of a hunt for um, another great rune. I think I'm going to go to Kaled. So there's two merchants in the Radon fight, and then the Radon fight opens up the underground. Oh my god! <laughs> the fuck? It's a ball party. Those are not anything... Well, okay, I mean, I'm gonna buy them, but not anything that really helps me finish the game. Uh, it's also nothing particularly... I mean, I'm gonna buy these, because I have a bit of a surplus of cash. Knight's Giant Ball! <laughs> Letter to Bernal. As far as I'm aware, Bernal does not live under that little tree there. Hey! Hey, stop this! <laughs> Rude. Okay, they, they've activated my stubbornness. I will get the items up here. <laughs> Why am I getting staggered when I punch this thing? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Uh, apparently that really hurts Ball Crusher's hand when she- Ow! When she, uh, punches this ball here. Okay. Oh boy, it's a butterfly. Uh, I just thought of a mini-boss that would be kind of funny to encounter, just because I know exactly what his name will be. A festival. Oh man, look at this dude! Oh man, he's got the he's got a great look going there. <laughs> Star Scourge Giant Ball. Oh hey, we can uh, hang on. We can assemble the squad. All right, the the Ball Crush squad has assembled. Yeah, there we go. They finally, they finally showed up. Well, Blythe has showed up. I have no idea where everybody else is. Blythe is also doing, like, no damage. Where the hell is everybody? 
Oh, I can get married. Why was Blythe the only member of the squad that showed up there? <laughs> Where was everybody? <laughs> oh, look at that purple Blythe. Giant ball face! <laughs> okay, that, that's literally all I wanted to see. Well done, giant ball face. Okay, that, that's all I wanted to... That, that, that was my entire reason for going over there. I'll, I'll just let giant ball face take the win. Mimic giant ball. <laughs> Ow. Shit. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Chill. Chill for one second here. Uh, no, no, uh, uh, uh. Stay, 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 stay. Yeah, just in case, I am gonna grab this side of grace here. What the? Uh, th there's a another giant ball party over here. Stack of the average. Okay, good thing I got that side of grace. Oh, yo! This was a good check. We can finish the run now. I don't know why I bought that golden seed. The run's done. Giant ball of the golden order. All right, giant ball of the golden order. Goodbye. Elden giant ball. Okay, then. Would have been kind of nice to find those smithing stones that I wanted. Because, uh, this could be over by now. This is going even slower than my RL1 fight against actual Radagon. Okay, this time, let me do some circle strafing here. Circle around back. Okay, now we can enter the stagger loop. Very exciting gameplay right here. There's the good. There's the. Yeah, I. Uh, man, I can't talk and I. Okay. And there's the game! Yay! Ball Crusher has crushed her last ball. The fallen leaves tell a story of how a tarnished became Elden Lord. The Lord of Balls. In our an age <laughs> of. Look at those cheekbones. The age of fracture, is he talking about all the balls that have been crushed by Ball Crusher? She has fractured her fair few number of balls.